the difference between responsible and irresponsible tourism is that when a tourism infrastructure comes into a place, you need to see, you, they, there have to be standards. You know, what is the kind of damage do they do or are they able to, you know, support the area and improve the area? I think that's step one. We should guide them. There has to be a manual in terms of, okay, this, this, this is what you're supposed to do. This is what is in the area. You have to only improve on it. It should not go down. Usage of plastic or usage of too much of uh, water, you know, they have to be doing rainwater harvesting. They have to be reducing the usage or recycle, reuse, reduce resources, the, the various R's that they say. So irresponsible tourism is when you have a tourist place, a resort, and they would come just there to make money. It happens. It's happening everywhere. All the national parks in India. There would be certain resorts which are very interested. I've got an inventory of 20 rooms. I need to fill it up. Come what may, come whatever the quality of tourist, let's get them. Because he's invested X million amount of dollars or rupees into the project. He needs his money back. He's right in a way. But it just cannot be a pure business. It, it has to be very commonsensical business. You know, you just cannot be withdrawing, withdrawing from the area. You need to withdraw and support. You have to balance it out. So you, can't, you should not have resorts which are just kind of withdrawing from the area, whether it is money, whether it is resources, you know, you need to even give back. You need to be very sensitive about the environment, whether it's the kind of noise pollution. If you have a 31st March, a 31st December Eve, do you have DJs playing in the resort? No. So if you have DJs playing in the resort, that is irresponsible tourism, especially if you're close to the national park. You know, you just come back from Ranthambo. There, there, I'm sure were resorts which had loud music and the tigers are very close. Mm -hmm. You know, the hearing of tiger is so sharp, extremely sharp. I mean, he can hear sounds miles away. You know, so we need to be slightly sensitive to that, that if we are so close to a sensitive area, we need to be curtailing certain activities. Our idea is not here just to make money. Our idea here is to make money, but in the process, you know, it must uh, the whole area must develop. Tigers are not for tourism. Tourism are for tigers. Correct? First comes wildlife and then comes wildlife tourism. So if you don't have your wildlife in place, how do you have wildlife tourism?